First on Cron 4, tonight we have newly released video showing the crash of Asiana Airlines Flight 214, but this time it shows the entire crash from the perspective of the air traffic control towers at SFO. Cron 4's Grant Lotus joins us now with the video. Grant. That's right, Pam. The NTSB has released two videos showing the deadly crash of Asiana Flight 214 at SFO. We saw the first one yesterday. This one right here is the second. Take a closer look. This view from the control tower at SFO and you see the plane right there and watch as it hits the seawall almost jumps onto the runway. The momentum of the crash sending the plane spinning in the air before finally resting on the runway right there. We'll show it to you again this time zoomed in. The plane was found to be too low on the approach. The pilot disconnected the autopilot function and set off the chain reaction that ended up killing three people and injuring nearly 200. Pam. The NTSB wrapped up its public hearing into that crash and that hearing provided new and sobering details into what happened. Here are some of the findings. Investigators determined that the flight came in too low and too slow. Investigators also revealed the pilots were deeply concerned before landing and relied too heavily on automated control systems. And the pilot who was flying told investigators he was uncomfortable landing visually without an instrument approach to guide him and acknowledged that he did not completely understand the Boeing 777's automated flight system. We also now know that two rescue fire trucks ran over a 16-year-old passenger as she lay covered in foam on the tarmac.